So I have a, a story. It's about me, freshman in college, uh, and I want to talk to a girl, which was a real problem, because uh, I didn't know how to do that. So I had a, a class, and it was my very first class. In fact, I believe this was the very first day of college. I get to class, I see a girl all the way across the room. It was a big class, like 40 or 50 people. And uh, she catches my eye, so to speak. And I'm like, ah, oh, I want to talk to her. How do I do that? How do I talk to that girl? So every day, I'd go to class wondering, based on when she, where she sat last time, I'd be like, all right, if I sit near there, she should get that same seat. I'll sit next to her, and then uh, everything will just blossom right from there. Right? That's like the, the main step. Sit next to relationship begins. <laughs> so I, I keep doing this little gamble, and it's just not working out. And a few weeks in, I'm like, okay, this sitting near her just isn't, uh, isn't the right thing. Like, I have no idea. Like, I, I can't imagine myself just going up to her and be like, hey, uh, let's speak. Right now. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Let's, let's be friends. I had no, I just really, social anxiety has uh, baffled me. I, just had, I had lost it. I was like, it's just never going to happen. But one day, I'm walking out of class, and she comes right up to me and says, hey, I love your shirt. I know, right? <laughs> Weird. That's not what I thought. Uh, so she says, I love your shirt. And I said, Thank you, and I walked away. <laughs> and as I and as I made that step, that pivot, I was like, "Oh, you're an idiot." She wants to talk to you. That's what you were wishing for before. Uh, so I just figured I just absolutely blew it completely, hundred percent. She just went up to someone, "Hey, I love your shirt." I'm like, "Thanks," and I left. I okay. So I just thought, it's just I, I'm ruining it. But one day. <laughs> I am downtown in a music store. I am in line to buy something. I'm just standing there. And she comes in the store, I'm like, oh, there she is. She's here. She's probably gonna avoid me. <laughs> and she walks right up to me and says again, hey, I love your shirt. It's a different shirt, she loves my shirts, all my shirts. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, nice, second chance. I say, thank you, and I walk away again for some reason, and I'm in line, so I'm just like, I guess I'm not buying this thing anymore. And I put it back. Sorry, Julius, you were old news. And I was like, all right, she complimented me twice. There's no way it's ever gonna work out. She must think I'm really weird, or I know nothing about my shirts. So even worse, I'm not knowledgeable on my own clothing. Uh, so I, I just pretty much, semester's almost done, I'm like, probably not gonna see her again, I guess it doesn't matter. And then one day, I'm walking down a large stairway outdoors, and I'm at the top, and then she's at the bottom, and she's coming up, and we're the only people around, and we already made eye contact, even though we're so far away, and she's like, I'm wearing like a, a another shirt. <laughs> I got my shirts on, and she says, hey, I love your shirt, a third time. And this time, I was like, I know a lot about this shirt. This is a shirt I bought at a Flaming Lips concert at the State Fair in Syracuse that I took my mom to. Me and my mom went to the scene of Flaming Lips, we bought this shirt with her money, I could talk about the band, I could talk about my mom, that opens up a whole bunch of stuff. That opens up dad, brother, sisters, dogs, she could get my whole life story, and then, uh, We'll just start dating, and then after like a couple dates, we'll get married. <laughs> and I, I'm about to say this, and I realize I'm at the bottom of the stairs, and she's already at the top, and I've already missed my chance. And I was like, shoot, three times. And if there's anything I learned <laughs> from those many times where I was just too late to talk, I realized, always be prepared to talk about your shirts. Thank you.